I want to know how IoT has changed over the past few years and what makes MediaTek really ready for that landscape. So if you look at the IoT evolution, um, we are in the middle of what I would call a three-phase journey. Uh, the first phase was where we took the old embedded market mm. and started connecting everything. I call it the connect everything phase. The phase after that was more focused on making these devices intelligent which means you program them to do something and they do it well. The transition we are in the middle of right now is what I would call the autonomous phase, that where we're sense. going one step beyond to say, hey, these machines can be good at what they're doing, but they can also learn and improve and add functionality over time. But to accomplish all this, there are some underpinnings from a technology perspective that are very necessary. They need to be connected. They need to be upgradable, which means there needs to be enough compute capacity. And then they need to learn, which means concepts like edge AI become critical. And if you look at the MediaTek portfolio, these are the areas of strength that we've had, and these are the areas of strength that we are building upon. And let me give you a specific example. At a traffic intersection, a camera in the past would take pictures, mm -hmm. and not much more. The next phase was to say, can I connect these cameras and get that data into a data center and start analyzing traffic flows. In future, we expect some level of autonomy where depending on real-time situation and traffic patterns, the red light and the green light timings will be able to automatically adjust themselves. Oh, wow. So in other words, if in one direction the traffic is more, you give more time for the traffic to flow through. And that to me is the definition of finally reaching that state of autonomy and therefore delivering the maximum amount of benefit. MediaTek has a very large IoT portfolio, but what makes it stand out from the competition? Our product portfolio and technology is so compelling. I think customers and ecosystem are approaching us as they learn more about the capabilities of this portfolio. At the top, we start by thinking about what are the pain points of our customers? What are their aspirations? And how can we fit into those? So if you look at the IoT customer base, they struggle with three or four big things. The first one is they want the scale of a platform that's usable across multiple verticals. So they right. benefit from scale and cost reduction and investment in R&D, but they want the ability to hyper personalize, hyper customize the solution for their specific vertical. The second thing they like to do is almost every customer will have a good, better, best product stack, Right. which means they want to invest in hardware and software that's scalable, reusable, and they want to preserve their investment. And I think the AI is an area that exemplifies this the most. Yes. So the ability to reuse AI across this different part of the stack, but also have a starting point that's much more mature than building something from scratch becomes very important to our customers. The third thing they like to do is, hey, I want you to be my partner, not just in get to market, but go to market. In other words, help me with the design in, but be part of the journey post launch uh, of the product in the market Help me evolve the product, help me get feedback from customers, help me with joint marketing, get the word out. And so we have taken these aspirations and pain points from our customers and basically made it part of how we operate. And so that makes it very easy to convince the customers to either switch to MediaTek or stick with us for the long term. So MediaTek has turned their customer relationships into something that they embody. Exactly. How successful is MediaTek's IoT business? Like how many devices are you powering currently? So if you look at the broad picture, MediaTek ships about 2 billion devices a year. Wow. Out of that, hundreds of millions of devices would fit into what I would call the IoT category. Okay. Everything from smart home to retail to transportation to healthcare kind of verticals. The other definition of success for us is, are the customers valuing what we're bringing to the table? And I think one interesting data point I can share with you is during COVID, when supply chain became a huge issue for many of our competitors, because of our robust planning and our partnership with the foundries, we were able to supply our customers in a much, much better way than our competitors. Oh, wow. And that gave them confidence that MediaTek will be a partner, not just in terms of hardware and software, right. but also things like following up on supply chain and ensuring adequate supply. I think this is what has really helped us get into the market and thrive in the market. And as I said, today we are shipping hundreds of millions of devices in the IoT verticals.